One of my all-time favorite books is Think and Grow Rich, and if you don't know the book, Napoleon Hill went out and for 20 plus years interviewed Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, Alexander Graham Bell, the people they named America the land of opportunity on, Vanderbilt, Rockefeller, and on and on and on, and put down their thoughts and the things that they had in common that got them to where they were compared to the average person. Well, tonight, I'm going to take one of the most prominently featured people in that book and share some of their key wisdom with you on the power of one. Hey, how's it going? Sorry about that. I was listening to a little Bruce. I'm from Jersey. What can I tell you? So here I am in my car. I like my car. I have a Mercedes, which is a little against what I was telling you tonight, because I'm going to tell you the story of Henry Ford and Ford motor cars. Have you driven a Ford lately? Have you heard of Ford motor cars? Well, needless to say, I wouldn't be in a Mercedes well over 100 years later if Henry Ford hadn't come out with a Ford way back in the day and I believe it was June 4th and I don't know the exact year but I know it was over a hundred years ago when he introduced the first vehicle pretty remarkable stuff and you know it's just wonderful to think about how one man with a vision and a dream I mean come on guys what was more of a vision than an automobile think about that one for a minute as a matter of fact think about what the average person said when the car first came out. Before the car, how did people get around? Horseback? Let me ask you a question. Think there was anyone riding around on their horse who made fun of the car? Anyone who said, ah, that thing will never last? Anyone who ever said, yeah, well, my horse never ran out of gas? <laughs> Pretty amazing stuff, but it's a, a belief and a vision and a burning passion caused one of the biggest paradigm shifts in the history of the world. How many hundreds of millions of people, if not billions of people, have driven cars? And so much of that has to do with Henry Ford. See, Henry Ford didn't have an elite education. Henry Ford was not a well-educated man, but Henry Ford was amazingly successful. The bottom line is he had common sense. He knew how to move and motivate people. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact story from Thing Grow Rich, but he was asked about his intelligence or his lack thereof, and he said, you don't understand. I have a, a desk, and on my desk I have buttons, and if I have an accounting question, I press a button, and the guy who went to college and got a fancy accounting degree comes in. He's an expert at that. He answers my question. I don't need to know accounting. I just need to know to be smart enough to hire a great accountant. I don't need to understand engineering. He went to his people and said, I want a V8 engine. And the geniuses who went to engineering school came back and said, it's impossible. And he said, that's cool, go back and do it anyway. And they came back again and said, it's impossible. And again, and again, and again. Finally, they came back and said, we had a breakthrough. We made a V8 engine. Ever been in a car with a V8 engine? And as amazing as it is, talking about the automobile with Henry Ford, his greatest contribution to business was the assembly line. He introduced the assembly line. Think about that for a minute. Think about the massive paradigm shift in the way all goods all over the world have been manufactured because of the introduction of the assembly line. So he truly was remarkable. My favorite thing about Henry Ford of all things is probably the greatest quote about business and success I've ever heard. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right. He had an amazing vision. A lot of other people over the years, maybe you have an amazing vision, but if you think you can't, you're right. But on the other hand, if you have a vision like a Walt Disney, like a Martin Luther King, like a Henry Ford, and you believe it's possible, then anything is possible. So 
What are you going to do? What greatness is stirring inside you? What legacy can you leave? What amazing quotes can you share about your passion if people will be quoting hundreds of years from now? Henry Ford wasn't educated. Henry Ford wasn't the greatest accountant in the world. Henry Ford simply had a burning desire and he executed and he made things happen. Anything is possible. If you think you can, you're right. That's about all I've got. We'll see you next week on A Power of One.